Lucky enough to have two members of the New Zealand squad heading over to the World Cup and another T20 World Cup for you, Jimmy Neesham, and you, Finn Allen. It's a very exciting time, I have no doubt. You're fresh off the plane, Jimmy. How are you feeling? You've been thrust into the teal. Are you pumped up, though? Yeah, excited. Uh, obviously a great result for us over in Pakistan against a, a really strong team. So, um, yeah, we went straight from the ground to the airport and then straight from the airport to here. So, yeah, it's a pretty full-on day, but... Um, you'll get plenty of rest over the next couple of weeks and then get back into it. There's coffee behind you, you can have one in a minute. We mint savouries as well. Um, Finn, for you, weren't so lucky getting on the plane this time. Bit of a back niggle, but you'll be fine, I know, for the World Cup. Really exciting. After your first experience of Australia a couple of years ago, how are you feeling about going over to the West Indies in America? Yeah, good, obviously. Um, disappointing result to the last one, and I know the boys are pretty uh, fizzed up to get over there this time. Uh, I think we've had pretty good prep. You know, the guys in Pakistan, you know, they were really, they were really successful over there with you know, the conditions and everything. So I think the way that uh, we've had the build up to this one will be, yeah, hopefully a good one. Okay, so you've, you've been playing lots of cricket. There's lots of cricket happening around the world. IPL, let's talk about big scores and stuff. How do you feel that this team will compete and who do you think will be our biggest competitors in this World Cup? Yeah, well, first and foremost, no impact player in the World Cup. So, um, Helps. yeah, don't have to bowl to eight specialist batsmen. So that'll make it a bit easier. But, um, yeah, I think the best thing about our group at the moment is we have a lot of experience um, in those conditions. We've got... Um, Kane's played CPL, I've played a couple of times, GP is there every season so uh, we've got a lot of IP as far as those grounds and um, yeah we probably go in um, with a little bit of an advantage from that perspective but um, I think in general over the last couple of tournaments um, that's something we've really prided ourselves on is adapting to the conditions quicker than the other team and um, this one will be no different. MLC, you were, took part in that last year. It's a really cool place to go over to America and play cricket, something I never thought we'd see. But here we are, and I don't know if you guys have been watching the progress of all the different grounds that are being built. What were the facilities like when you were part of the MLC, and do you think it's going to be a great host for the World Cup? Yeah, I think it was pretty remarkable. The, the ground in Dallas was you know, done up a, a month before the tournament started, and there were scores of 200 plus in games over there. So it's pretty incredible how you know, they put everything together so quickly, and I guess you know, the care that they take into the grounds like that. So, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. And I suppose in ground in New York as well, pretty special. I think India, Pakistan over there. Um, you're working that as well, aren't you? So, um, yeah, I think it'll be yeah, it's pretty cool. That is going to be a heck of a game. As a cricket fan, which I know you both are as well, what is the game that you're most looking forward to either playing in or watching? Uh, the final. Yep, great. Yep. yep, I respect that. Uh, for you, Finn? Yeah, I suppose, obviously, that's always the aim, isn't it, and the goal, but um, West Indies at home, uh, or the, in their home conditions, will be a pretty cool game to be a part of, and then I guess we we'll only get to watch on TV, but India, Pakistan at New York could be pretty special. Let's talk about the teal, a uh, bit of a throwback to 99, which was an important World Cup for a lot of cricket fans of my age. Neither of you are my yeah, age, we won't born. go into the, the year Finn was born, so that's cool. Um, wicked. Um, but for you, Jimmy, uh, how did you feel when they presented you with the teal? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, we get a little bit of input uh, when the designers are coming out with the different kits. So um, we've gone with a bit of a retro th theme over the last couple of World Cups. We had the beige last time and, and then the uh, the grey stripes as well. So, um, yeah, it's the next progression. And um, a couple of names, Roger Twos, Jeff Allett, I think, fly out at me when you think of the teals. So um, it's going to be fantastic to get out there with the retro kit on. And we've even managed to, to sway some teal pads as well to, to make the full kit. Oh, um, yeah. All one colour, so you're yeah, looking forward to getting those in the post. Yeah, yeah, was, uh, yeah, all teal, fantastic, fantastic for you, Finn. What did you think when you saw it? Yeah, obviously um, the boys have played in the kit over the years, and it's always been one that I've looked forward to putting on. Um, again, yeah, I didn't have much of a history with it back in the day. I was a bit too young, probably, but um, yeah, and I think it looks good. And as you say, we got them away from the black pads with it too, so I think it'll be it'll be pretty cool. It'll be all. Oh, it's a lot of teal. A lot of teal. Um, a lot of teal. Um, so, yeah. I'll find some shoes too. Yeah, to good really luck. Yeah, the, the whites, look. it's quite a stark difference. But no, that's fantastic. So, okay, so more often than not, you see um, some really great sort of uh, hairdos, people rocking different facial hair and the like. Who do you think we can bank on sort of to see something a bit interesting for this World Cup? I noticed East Study's running sort of some sort of overgrown mullet at the moment. Like, do you think he'll make a change? Will you go facial hair? What will you do with your hair this time? Like, what's the plan, do we think? Aish is still about two years behind everyone else. He's still got a mullet. Yeah. Um, that was last World Cup. So, yeah, I think I'll probably just keep the shave lid going on. Um, I can't grow facial hair properly. It goes ginger. So, um, no, nah, I'll be keeping it pretty much how I'm looking now. Maybe a few more tats before we get over there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. For you, Jimmy, any tats or facial nah, hair? What are you nah, thinking? No tats. No, and I'll you've leave run that the same the... haircut 
your whole international career. So I can't imagine making years, a change yeah. now. Yeah, nah, the moustache does come and go a little bit. So I might talk to Lockie Ferguson about that and see if we get team up on that again. But um, yeah, n n I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Maybe, maybe I'll probably go back to, to the same barber I've been going to for the last 15 years and get the same thing. Yeah, no, no, and good for you. And look, this is a good trip to perhaps get, you've got you've got a young one now. It's a good one that perhaps I imagine the partners and you know friends and family are all saying, hey, look, we, could, we might come on this trip. We might come and check it out. You're expecting a big uh, Kiwi crew to come over and support? Yep. Yeah, the wife was stoked today when I had 15 minutes at home from the airport before I came to the promo. So you managed to change a nappy. So, yeah, that was my first one in a month or so. But, um, yeah, long trip. Um, hopefully, I mean, our target is that second group stage, um, some slightly more appetising venues um, for the family. Um, so, yeah, hopefully come over there and then uh, we'll be going over to England afterwards as well. So, yeah, big winter with the little one. Yeah, it's very exciting stuff. And Finn, you imagine a big crew of your mates and stuff, family will come over? I don't know, it's kind of a, a tough one um, to get to. I think my parents are over in Europe at that time or something like that, so probably not from them. And I'll just be flying solo, I think, taking on probably uh, third wheeling a few dates with guys and their wives and stuff. And Babysitting duties, Finn. Babysitting, yeah. Yeah, I have been known to babysit Kane's little girl back in the day, so. Oh, Jimmy, would you? No, absolutely not. No, no. okay. No. no, not happening. Interesting, interesting. He says that, but he'll happily <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? As a parent, he probably will. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so when you are packing to go to a World Cup or a big trip away, what is your go-to that you have to pack first after your cricket bag? Don't try and trip me up and golf say... Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, say golf gloves before cricket bag. Can you play? Do you yep. really pack your golf bag before your cricket bag? 100%. Finn? Yep. Obviously not. Obviously. Cricket's more important. But, of course. Because um, you can get more bats and stuff sent from the manufacturer to the tournament, whereas you can't get golf clubs sent. You've got to make sure you've got everything there. Who's the best golfer within the crew of you that plays golf? Uh, Mitch Sandner. Yeah, second best? Uh, Currently. Yeah. What are you at now? I think I'm better than you, aren't I? Nah. I beat you three times in one weekend, mate. Yeah, but then you were injured for three weeks. Yeah, that's it's a valid point. It's a bit on no here. No correlation, though. Is no, it no, no, not not related. It is not related. Golf's good. Golf, active recovery, isn't exactly, it? Active yeah, recovery. Yeah. Active recovery. Yeah, I had so, a cart. so you, so <laughs> you're too young for a cart. I won't be having that. Um, okay, so the golf bag's packed, and then what else are you going to pack to go to the West Indies? Like, will there be a few like snacks and food that you have to take with you? Marmite, muesli maybe bars. Some gluten-free bread. Don't know how that goes over there, so maybe I would definitely pack yeah, that. Me and you. Mackie might have to get That'll that travel board. well that'll too. Travel I think that'll travel well, yeah. real nice. Forty-five hours of fly time. Um, yeah, I don't maybe know. Maybe some pals. Yeah, <laughs> y'all pack some of my bag too. Get the sponsor's name yeah, out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll definitely have to, yeah get some Red Bull in there. Um, keep me <laughs> energized over there. Um, yeah, yeah. They don't sell Red Bull <laughs> in that part of the world. They don't sell Red Bull yeah. in West Indies, so I've got to take that over. I'll be away for like four months, so a lot of shoes, a lot of clothes. Um, yeah. You know what it's like? Yeah, not really, but yes, yes I do, I totally do. Well guys, I want to thank you so much, congratulations on the selection uh, and we look forward to watching. Thank you. Cheers Laura.